Hi guys, how you doing? Okay, so where are we at? So I've basically base coated the entire turret because I thought I'd start on the turret today. It's Saturday. Um, I haven't done any painting over the Christmas period because I just wanted to chill out, but I've been doing loads of building though. Uh, now I've got another fell, uh, fell blade to build and that's a a world eater one for a friend of mine called Harry um, just waiting for some parts to turn up but I thought in the meantime while I'm doing that this gives me a great chance to uh, experiment with uh, the Minotaur paints uh, because I've decided to only use those paints on this tank for now uh, and, uh, and I thought what best way to test them out or what better way to test them out would be on this model because it's got lots of flat surfaces, lots of rounded surfaces as well, uh, some really high bits of detail that are put into it. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go and play around with it. And so far, I've been very happy. Now the black, I absolutely love. Uh, it's got a really deep richness to it. Um, and, uh, and it's just such a lovely finish. Now I've tried this with a paintbrush and I've tried it uh, with an airbrush as well. And either way, it's come out really, really well. Um, so I'm quite chuffed with that. Um, the other colors have just been beautiful. Um, now, so what have I done? So I went round, I mixed some yellow and some white together. So I used uh, this yellow here, irradiate, irradiated yellow, along with uh, skull white, mixed that together. And then I basically went round and just stippled areas and then just painted bits, uh, larger areas on here to give me some battle damage. I then mixed a red, and this is a beautiful red as well, angelic blood. Uh, and when it dries, it has a real sort of rubiness to it, um, which you'll see whenever you get a hold of it. Um, and a chocolate brown, and that gave me a sort of nice sort of um, base coat for the tank. So you know how you, when you see some um, paint that's worn away, there's always that nice brown underneath. So I've used that as the base. And then I've gone over the top of it uh, with a metal uh, to give me that sort of like three-dimensional chip paint effect and battle damage and all in all it's come out really really nicely now it still looks pretty um, if you can see there that is pretty nice but it still needs a lot more doing to it so the next step is to wash the tank back now what I'm going to use is a mixture of uh, null oil or nulling oil and Atherax brown I think it is I can't remember but it's it's like a brown basically. Uh, mix that together, that'll be a 50-50 mix and that'll wash over the top of this and that will knock back all the colors, blending them all together to give it a much more subtle and flat look. And that's what I'm after. So I'll see you after I've done that. Okay guys, take care. Hi guys and welcome back. So here we are at last. I've washed it. <laughs> I've washed it. Uh, okay, so I've washed it now. Uh, I've used a brown and a black wash and it's given me a much lovelier look. And what it's done is it's just knocked back the brightness and uh, basically uniformed all the colours on there, which I'm really chuffed about. Um, and it gives it a really nice finished uh, different look. So I've tried some different stuff with this because we wanted to show depth with painting techniques instead of chipping it away. Um, and I think I've managed to achieve it. It's come out quite nicely. Um, so it's nicely damaged. Now, somebody said to me, I should show you the scale of this compared to a Predator. So that's a Predator turret, and that is the Fellblade turret, which is pretty cool. Very, very cool. When they start doing different weapons to this, I'm going to be very, very excited. Um, but yeah, so that gives you a look at the size comparison. And so it's, uh, it's nice because it's uniform. The shape is very similar to each other. And uh, the look and the style, again, very, very pretty. So these are the, excuse me, I've got hiccups. These are the paints that I've been using. They come out really nicely. Um, so far, I'm chuffed with the Minotaur range. Um, you know, uh, I think some people like to water their paints down anyway, or, or you know, liquefy their paints a little bit more just to give them a bit more of a smoother finish. Uh, the one that I'm really impressed with so far, which is I've just uh, gone nuts for, is Raven Black. It is such a beautiful, deep, rich black. Um, I'm really excited by it. So, 
so we're going to continue using the paints. We're going to also do a world well to one, like I've said, using the military range as well. Um, but for now, I've now got to detail this uh, and finish it off, and then I'll be moving on to the main. Board.